everybody. My name is Alizé. What's your name? Sunny. And Sunny, what are we going to cook today? A gâteau de chocolat. So we're making a gâteau au chocolat, which translates to kind of a chocolate tart. And it's a French recipe that I got from my cousin Amandine, who lives in Paris, and she's a wonderful patisserie chef. So this is a super easy recipe and probably takes less than 45 minutes from like prepping and cooking as well. So we're gonna get started. So I'm gonna turn the oven on to 300 degrees and then Sunny, will you put the butter in the pan? Yep. All right. Three hundred degrees. What? All right. Three hundred degrees. That's really hot. That is really hot. So what we're gonna do first? So don't touch this pan. That's right. And actually, I forgot to get the pan out. So we'll get that in a minute. So we're gonna put this butter in here. It seems like a lot of butter, but it's a French recipe, so it's really not that much. And if you if you go and make this at a dinner party, like we often do, just don't tell anybody there's two sticks of butter in here. But that's what makes it like so good. Go ahead. Put it in there. All right, um, the next thing we need is 250 grams of chocolate, and I use this um, really yummy dark chocolate that we get in France, but you can find some great, um, great chocolate here as well, and even in the, that baker's chocolate, that's like 113 grams a piece, so basically two of those, and we're gonna break that up. You wanna help me break this up? And um, put that with our butter, and we're gonna melt this over the stove. Is it tough? Break it, break it, break it. Come on, use those mussels. Haven't you been eating your Brussels sprouts? No, I never ate Brussels sprouts. That's not true. You like it with Parmesan and garlic, right? Yeah, I can't do it. All right, here, let me make some skinny ones for you. And then you can probably break it. Here, break it now. There you go. Break up the chocolate. So you want to do like a dark, semi-sweet chocolate. Um, this is sort of a sweet recipe for a French um, dessert, but um, it's probably a lot, lot less sweet than an American chocolate dessert. Well, that was a huge clump. <laughs> All right, let me help you? Yeah. Okay, that's difficult. So while I um, put this on the stove, I'm gonna have Sunny break some eggs. We're gonna need um, four eggs for this recipe, right Sunny? Yeah. And you're gonna have the recipe and how to do it um, either right above if you're watching this on Facebook or right below if you're watching this on, on YouTube. All right, so I'm gonna start melting this chocolate on low. After that, start doing these eggs. Yep, start doing these eggs. This is not always cooperative. So here's what it looks like in here. Um, is it okay if you break it? Yeah, we're not making um, sunny side up eggs, so it's okay if the, if the yolk breaks, but put this back in here when you're done. Go ahead, three more. All right, so our chocolate and butter is melted. If you'll take a look there, it looks great, and we're gonna pour it right into this bowl. And then we're gonna use this thing. I know. But first, what you're gonna have to do is um, add your sugar and flour. This is so good, like at this point, and we're usually licking the bowl at this point, but we'll try to refrain for a little bit anyways. I'm gonna put this down. We like licking the bowl, can I lick the bowl? Not right now. Okay, so this is melted. We're gonna put it in this salad bowl, and then we're gonna add our sugar and our flour. So this is a cup of sugar, and I use a little bit less than a cup, but um, almost a cup of sugar. You wanna pour it in, Sunny Bunny? And then we're gonna start. Yeah, let me go this way with you. All right, we're gonna start this, and you can do this in a minute, but just pour in the sugar if you want. Is it all in there, baby? Yep. So we're gonna do one cup of sugar, and then we also do a third of a cup of flour. So it's not a flourless chocolate cake, but pretty close. Go ahead, dump it in. All right, you wanna spin that in there? Go ahead, we'll do this. So we're gonna mix this very well and we're going to add the eggs in just a minute. I'm gonna um, beat the eggs like you were gonna do some scrambled eggs. Let me grab a fork. Get all that flour in there, Sunny Bunny. So I'm gonna beat these eggs. 
We're almost done with this recipe. You can believe it. All right, let's get the um, edges really well. Get all that flour in there. All right. Turn it off? No, nope, that's good. Keep, keep mixing. Looks good, and now I'm gonna add the eggs. Do you wanna keep mixing, or do you wanna add the eggs? There we go, all right. There you go, mix those in well. So that was four eggs. Go all the way around, go all the way to the other end too. All right. Good job. All right, you wanna go ahead and turn that off? And then I'm gonna grab our cake pan, we're gonna put it in there. Oh, it's lead for it? You can try. Let's go ahead and get a lot of that chocolate off here. I, uh, when, when you do that, can I lick it off, the oh. stuff off? Well, of course, that's the best part, right? Yeah, I love chocolate. I love chocolate too. Yeah. Chocolate, butter, and flour. So first of all, we gotta, um, we've got this cake pan. Okay, well, we were gonna use that, and we still will. You can probably um, lick these beaters off. Got to make sure it's unplugged, though. We don't want to get your tongue in there, right? All right. I never know how to. There you go. Why don't you eat these? And I'm going, at, during that time, I'm going to pour in this chocolate. And you can see it's like a little bit thicker consistency. That's thanks to the, um, the scrambled up eggs we put in there. How's it taste, Sunny? Good. So good, right? Mm-hmm. And this is actually, so this is going to go into our 300 degree oven for 30 minutes. What in the heck? Yep, 30 minutes. All right, so our oven just went off. We're going to take this cake out. There it is. And take a look. Looks really yummy, right? Yeah. All right, we're going to do the toothpick test. You want to poke it in there? Mm-hmm. Poke it in there. And the middle's good. Poke it in the middle. There we go, and show everybody what it looks like. So you can see it's still wet on the inside and that's just how you want it. The outside's gonna be a little bit more well cooked and the inside is a little bit more lavier. And do you want to see how it's inside? Yep, we're gonna cut it open in just a minute. We just need to let it cool down for a few minutes. This is how you make a beautiful cake. We're almost out of them. Okay, that's it. Okay, so we've cut into our cake to show you what the inside looks like. Um, and take a look here. As you can tell, this is a super dense cake. That's why I compared it to a flourless cake, even though there's a third a cup of flour in it. But it's super dense, it's super warm, and like right at the edge here, it's like almost liquid. So we're gonna let Sunny taste it, this little piece. Tell me what you think. So good. So good? You ready for a bigger piece? All right, we have to wait till after lunch. Have a great day, everybody, and enjoy making your cake.